Previously on the new Leave it to Beaver. Oh, he really likes her. Well, how can you tell? Oh. <laughs> I'll call you. That'd be nice. Aren't you gonna try and kiss me goodnight? Look, just because you may like her doesn't mean I have to. Mom? Hi, Ollie. enough in my classroom. Oliver must be very happy. Yes, he is. Well, I wish you all the luck in the world. I heard him ask her. Really? What 
did he say? Well, I didn't catch all of it. The bedroom door's pretty thick. But it went something like, Kimberly, it's wonderful to have you back in my life again. But this time, I'd like it to be forever. Then what happened? Well, I'm not sure. But I did hear a lot of, oh, Kimberly, oh, Beaver, oh, Kimberly, oh, Beaver. Wow, that's so romantic. Thanks for telling me. Sure. But remember, it's our little secret. Right. Okay, Kelly, all set? Mom, don't tell anybody, but you'll never believe this. Beaver's getting married. Hey, that's great. You know, the first time I saw you and Pamela together, I knew there was some sort of chemistry. He's marrying Kimberly. Oh, my God. We haven't told anyone yet. Oliver overheard him propose. I never thought they'd get back together. What about Pamela? Well, I don't know. I liked her, too, but... Who knows? Maybe this is the best thing for him. You really think so? No. I mean, just three months ago, she was engaged to Cal. What's his name? Well, maybe she broke it off to come home and be with her family. Now that she's got a career, she might be ready to settle down. Well, I suppose it's possible. I mean, the bee's really changed. He's much more confident. He's very successful. Oh, I'll say. You know, he made more money than I did last year. He did? Yeah. What are we supposed to do about the wedding? Just wish him the best and pretend we never meant all those things we said about her? That's why I have no choice. No. Your brother really made more money than you did? <laughs> Don't tell Mom, though, hmm? I just don't think he feels the same way about me. Why? Because he's a big poop. I mean, sometimes people change how they feel about each other. What do you mean? Well, remember when you and Becky McDonald used to play every day? Yeah, until our father Leopold got it in our class. Is Uncle Beaver playing with Bobby Leopold? <laughs> no. <laughs> But he found someone else he likes better than me. But no one plays Simon Says like you. Well, thank you, Kevin. How can you get a new boyfriend? Well... Buzz likes you? He always tries to look up your dress at nap time. <laughs> yes, I know. But I'm not ready for a new boyfriend. It's gonna take some time to get over your uncle. I know my wife is in there. Oh, come on, Lumpy. You said we wouldn't kid him about that anymore. <laughs> Eddie! Great, he stiffed us again. I should have known something was wrong when he offered to pay for dinner. <laughs> hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Uh, uh, you really got me. I never expected a bachelor party. <laughs> we never expected you to get married again. <laughs> He's doing a repeat performance, huh, Beef? Hey, a Vishnu. No, it's just plain old Larry Mondello again. My parents got me deprogrammed. And Dad made me a partner in his linoleum business. Life's great. Yeah. And sometimes I go into a chant in the middle of a sales pitch, but they say that'll go away in time. It's nice to see you, but uh, where's Richard and Whitey and Gilbert? Oh, they all said they'd love to be here until they found out who you were marrying. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> hey, Beef, what do you want to drink? Beer or champagne? Ah, uh, champagne. Great. While you're at the liquor store, pick me up some beer nuts. <laughs> to the best partner I've ever had. And the only partner I've ever had. <laughs> Gee, that's funny, Lumpy. Who helped you? No one. Hey, look oh, at these. Well, those are neat. Hers again uh, and his again. Hey, they're perfect. <laughs> I think he likes mine best. What's this one? It doesn't have a card. Oh, that's mine. Tile? Good enough there to cover a 12 by 15 room easy. If you need more, though, I can get you a discount. Hey, Larry, what a guy. Heck, B, you're my oldest friend. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for coming. This really means a lot. 
Hey, let's have a toast. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 When um, Beaver and Kimberly were first married, for some reason it uh, just didn't work out. Since then, he's met every challenge head on. Now, he and Kimberly have found each other again. And if ever there was a guy who deserved to be happy, my brother. To the beef! Yeah. To the beef! To the beef! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let the good stuff begin, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You would walk out on me? 
You see, that's just like you. You always were so wishy-washy. Wishy-washy? Yes. I mean, you're the one that's running away with uh, Count Rigatoni. You know, I cannot believe I almost married you again. I can't believe I ever married you at all. Oh, you haven't changed a bit. You always have to have the last word. No, I don't, and your hair looks stupid. Well, at least I have a human name. Oh, I haven't heard that since the third grade. Well, that's you're in the third grade. Come on, Gusto. <laughs> after you had a kid. <laughs> then you'd have to go through the long, lonely, solemn process of raising it by yourself. <laughs> like you did before. Excuse me. Nice going, Eddie. You know, the guy's crushed. Don't you ever think before you talk? Sure. I thought about it. I couldn't wait to say it. <laughs> Remember, these things happen for the best. I know, Mom. Cater just told me the same thing. <laughs> I'll leave. Don't you want any wedding cakes? Don't call it that. Hi, guys. Hey, Dad. Ah, good afternoon, Mr. Cleaver. Yeah, I say that old axiom's true. Everyone looks good in a tuxedo. Thanks a lot, Freddie. I'd like to be alone with Kip and Oliver. Well, after today's debacle, you'll have plenty of time for that. <laughs> you, you know how to keep your mouth shut? How's it going, guys? Well, cake's good. What did your mother have to say? Basically, just the Rivaderci. Oh. Here's your credit card. Mom says they kind of pay back for the ticket. Guys, it's been a rough day on all of us. We've been through this before. We can survive. Dad, today at the ceremony, you said you weren't sure if you were doing the right thing. Did you really mean that? I guess so. Unfortunately, your mother beat me to the punch. Were you going to marry Mom again just for kipping me? Well, when I saw how happy you were with your mother, I just wanted you to be like that all the time. You were going to do all that just for us? Parents will do things for their children that they wouldn't do for anyone else in the world. Yeah, but you've already done plenty. Thanks. It would have been nice to be a family again. Dad. We are a family. Tables. I can see that. I mean, what are you doing when you're done? Well, I uh, have to go buy some baby chicks so the kids don't find out what really happened to the incubator. So, uh, the vet left town. How did you know about that? Kevin told the class on story day. He does a pretty good Italian accent. I was, uh, going to call, but I just never got around to it. Look, what happened between us, I didn't handle it very well. Oh, you really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. My kids are very important to me. And when Kimberly came back, I, I guess I just blew it. No kidding. I'd really like to try again. I bet you would. I guess there's nothing I could say that would change your mind. 
fever. Everyone hopes to find someone to share their life with. And I thought I had with you. And all of a sudden, you just disappeared. So how am I supposed to feel? Do you expect me to pretend all this never happened? I was hoping. <laughs> Look, I know I made a mistake. But I'd do anything in the world if you just give me one more chance. Even if I don't deserve it. Well, I don't think we could just pick up where we left off. But maybe we could start over. With no promises or expectations. Kind of like a uh, second first date. Except this time, don't forget your wallet. Deal. Yeah. <laughs> How about Friday night? Can't. I'm busy. Oh. Well, what about Saturday? Saturday's good. Well, great. Uh, I'll pick you up at eight. Beaver? Aren't you even gonna try and kiss me? Tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern, a rescue mission becomes a deadly adventure for Charlton Heston and James Franciscus beneath the Planet of the Apes. Then at 9 o'clock, join host Tom Chapin for the world premiere of National Geographic Explorer. But now, NWA main event is next on TBS, cable's most popular network. Oh, <laughs>